Hey guys, so Resident Evil had a showcase on YouTube yesterday and uh, they had a bit of a, a gameplay reveal trailer. So apparently there's also a demo you can download and play on a PS5, which is really good news because I've just finally got my PlayStation 5 delivered yesterday after waiting since launch. It was so hard to get, the scalpers just dried up the supply chain, there was just nothing available. I was lucky enough to be on Amazon at the time it was available, they got some new stock in and it was the next day delivery which was incredible so I've just been setting it up the last couple of days I'm um, transferring all my files from the PS4 to the PS5 and um, yeah I cannot wait to dive in and play a game on it, it's going to be cool so Resident Evil Village, the, uh, the, the demo might be what I do today I think. Anyway, so we're going to check out the trailer. I'm going to do both in the one video, so it's all, you know, two for the price of one kind of a deal for you today. I'm going to check out the official story trailer first, and then we'll check out the gameplay footage after that. Okay, it's hot. I've got my headphones on and I'm melting. It's hot in Sydney today. It's humid as. But the show must go on. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. I've been a big fan of the Resident Evil franchise for years, although it's been a long time since I've played anything. Think positively, all right? So it's first person. We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Good old Capcom. Herald's danger. That looks that looks good. Oh, that's some, that's some good base. So I think this one's going to be about Mother Miranda. witches I'm and werewolves. I to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. How good does this I look? I won't let you down. The detail in the mirror. Holy shit. Okay. The re-engine. So it's, it's um, a first-person game. Someone please tell me, what the hell is going on here? No. Jesus. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. I think Resident Evil 7 was... First person, but it was also made for VR. From memory. Oh my god, we got ghouls. Are we having zombies? Oh, they moved away from the zombie thing. God, the detail is insane. This is gonna be creepy, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil. I like how they done um the eight incorporated into the the village word. Oh, so good. Who the Very fuck clever. are you? What? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan oh. Winters. <laughs> Ethan Winters. Who the fuck are you? Jesus, that was really, really eerie. May 7, 2021, pre-order now. The Village, oh, I like where they're going with this. Like I said, I was a um, big fan of the, the original game. I bought that Resident Evil for the PS1 over 20 years ago. It's kind of what got me into gaming. Resident Evil, Tomb Raider, Final Fantasy VII. But yeah, so many great games and I've been gaming ever since. So I've been playing the games in every iteration up until about four or five I think I haven't played from six on so it's been a while and they're currently re-releasing and remastering all the older games so I've got Resident Evil 2 and 3 for the PS4 over there which I'm gonna load up on my PS5 as soon as I get some time but um yeah they're re kind of revisiting all the classics and, and redoing them which is cool but yeah I really enjoyed those games for over 20 years and the movies are a guilty pleasure as well I mean they're not good but they're fun they're fun they're not they're not anything like the games. Although, having said that, the games really did kind of go from Zombies in a Mansion, survival horror, to the second game, which you were stuck in the police station 
part three kind of opened up into the city itself. And then part four, I think you're on an island or something. Oh, I don't remember. But the games did expand. And it really kind of moved away from zombies and, and other creatures like the inside out dogs and stuff. And you got things like Nemesis and, and other crazy creatures. But um, yeah, it's always been fun. Okay, so we've checked out the story trailer. Now let's have a look. So now let's take a look at the uh, the gameplay reveal trailer. So this will give us a bit more of an understanding of what the game is. All right, three, two, one, go. World premiere. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Gameplay. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll yes. be taking control of Ethan Winters. First you'll person. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed okay. by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Yeah, it's way more immersive when you're um when you're the character. Especially on a big screen TV, it looks amazing. But I never got into the VR game. It just made me feel sick. I couldn't do it, which is a shame. You'll see a Look lot at of the, those little details. The detail, oh my shit. It's incredible. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. You're just waiting for something to jump out at you. Design to technology. Everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. That's amazing. <laughs> we now got it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. Which As is you expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Man blood? No. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Wow, wow. Oh, they look Ethan great. Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? How, how tall is let's she? Let's see how special you are. Is it just the perspective, or is she like super tall? Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. I'm trying to peer around the corner, holy shit. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be scary. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Guarding. Nice. Oh, got a shotty. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting, so you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Oh! We've got giants in here. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Shoot the fuckers. <laughs> Some of you will oh, the inventory. A management system in Resident Evil 4. This oh, you've got to be so careful. Crafting, which allows you to oh, sick. Items such as first aid and ammo. Nice. I like crafting. That's cool. There's but also the, an assortment of weapons to find in You've your always got to control your inventory, though. You can only con can, like, carry so much. It's... You gotta be so strategic. It'll be so hard. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. Okay. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This the time merchant. he's known as the Duke. Okay. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. Nice. The director you got a, you got a, a shop. Look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Facial animations are amazing. Uh -huh. Of course, you can bust it up. I'm sure there's going to be puzzles everywhere. Enough. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. But you can only carry so much, right? So in crafting, you gotta really Wait, kind of start using what you have. And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. There's a why, why is there? Uh, of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players. A goat. 
Yeah, the puzzle is going to be fucking tricky. Plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. What? <laughs> this is going to mess with your head. Sounds like a fun date. Ah, oh, so you're dead. You died. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. So we've got the yeah, the demo, Maiden. Escape the dungeon. For this demo. Do Players won't be playing as Ethan, but as oh. a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual so, game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. So it's just a taste style. Just a small sample. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Of course, cool. we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. Cool, man. Looks like it's going to be a really really cool Resident Evil game like yeah most of them and like I said I've only played up to about four or five but they all inherently have something good about them sure there's gonna be some dodgy ones in the in the titles for sure but yeah for the most part part one and part two and part three I just loved and I, and I can't wait to revisit them I don't think part one has got a, a remaster that was insane in that one the cut footage was actually actors like real performers real real life humans acting out scenes and it'll cut to the gameplay again so that's how old school it was it was a lot of fun so um yeah i might download that demo and have a go at it because i can i have a ps5 i'm so happy and i'm definitely going to be pre-ordering that game um resident evil village looks insane like the, the level of detail i love the first person aspect of it because like i said it's really immersive that's part of the reason cyberpunk went that way as well uh, apart from all the troubles they've had it has been immersive for me and my experiences so um yeah some of the best games are first person like skyrim of course those massive rpgs so it can be a lot of fun really immersive so tell me what you think of that are you keen for it resident evil 8 village you gonna get it excited discuss below catch you next time thanks for watching